welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is Vanessa this is Nessa C Expedia and today we're gonna be using reviewing and doing a wear test on the brand new flower beauty jet set invisible powder spray this is the component right here she retails for $14 and has 1.5 ounces of product in here and this component is so small it's like the size of my hand my hand is around like five inches so I think that's for convenience because I feel like you can pop this into your purse and use this in lieu of instead of blotting sheets so I think this is a cool concept powder in a spray pretty dope but to talk a little bit about the product it is infused with oil absorbing rice starch chamomile flower extract and coconut fruit water to refresh your face and it's cruelty free vegan and gluten free now coconut fruit water coconut anything and my face don't usually get along so I will not know if this breaks me out until the next day I pray that this does not break me out because I've been having very good skin days recently I do not need a breakout but I really want to try this product because it seems so innovative and we need a little fun in the beauty realm so flower beauty i think is giving us that so if you're interested in seeing how this spray works just continue watching so first off i went in with my pearly's priming moisturizer and then i went in with my haley's beauty reset liquid foundation in the shade 425 i generally know how this foundation wears on me so i think it's perfect for testing out new products and then i'm gonna head in with my lancome tint adult all over concealer and if you do want to see a review on this concealer i will have it carded up on the top right because i did do a wear test on this concealer as well and you know your girl has to set her eyes, so I went in with my Haley's Retouch Powder. And then I did set the left side of my face with my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Mattifying Powder. I did this so I can compare how the powder spray compares to my favorite powder, so we'll see if it performs better or not. And for the other side of my face, the right side, I'm going to cover half of my face with my Michaela palette because it's a big palette. And I'm going to spray this we'll see how this goes you're supposed to shake it up hold it away from your face and then just blast off <laughs> let's see oh i'm scared okay that half of my face is set it does smell a, a tad bit like hairspray my eyelashes <laughs> i'm gonna zoom in on my eyelashes this is how you know it's actually powder because my eyelashes are white we don't have that issue on the other side but both sides definitely look set the side with the flower powder does look a tad bit flat for me not gonna lie but it's not too distinct of a difference to knock the product down. But now I'm just going to finish up the rest of my face off of camera. And then on this side, I'm going to set with a setting spray. And then on my right side, I think we're going to leave it at that because I do feel super set. I kind of wish I did this after I finished my makeup application because I honestly feel set. On this side but yeah I'll be right back okay y'all we are back and the face is complete I have made the active decision to set both sides of my face because the more and more I have this makeup on the more kind of dry I feel on my right side I do feel like this is supposed to substitute for powder it's supposed to substitute for setting spray as well however I don't think there's any liquid in there and I do feel like everything needs to mesh together better on my right side. So the setting spray I have been using recently since my CoverGirl one, you know, I finished up. I've been using the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal. So let's see if it works together with its own products. We gonna spray the entire face. Oh, 
All right, and that definitely made my right side feel better, like way better. I feel very hydrated on both sides now. So I'm a dry skin girl, but setting it with a setting spray is not a bad idea. It feels way better. <laughs> but now we're just gonna zoom in. Time of completion right now is 9.19 a.m. There it is. And we're gonna do a little wear test, but first we gotta see how we're looking freshly applied. I really like how the face is looking. Both sides look pretty similar. Now that we have the setting spray on. Let me know if you spot a difference, but I think we're looking beautiful on both ends and we're ready to go throughout an entire day with this on. I might just blot with this because I feel like it would be a perfect thing to, I guess, replace blotting sheets because it's small enough to put in a purse and it says re reapply as needed to refresh and mattify throughout the day. So... In one of my check-ins, I'm going to try to use this if I'm too oily, and we'll see how that goes. But if y'all want to see the test of time, just continue watching. Hello, it is currently 2.30, and we have had this on for around five hours. This is how we're looking. Oils are not really seeping through yet, so I don't feel the need to reapply the spray again this is the side with the flower spray and this is the side with my nyx setting powder both look pretty similar the only difference that i can see is that my right smile line is a little bit more pronounced than my left one My nose does look a little shiny, but I don't think it's time to blot yet. Five hour mark, and this is how we're looking. I'll be right back. Hello, we are back. It is the end of the day. It is currently 7.24 p.m. We've had this makeup on for around 10 hours. 10 hours in, and we looking like this. We're actually looking pretty cute on both sides. The only part that's super mega shiny is my nose, as you can see, but we gonna zoom in, 10 hour mark. This is the side with the NYX powder, and then this is the side with the flower powder spray. Both sides look pretty similar. Again, the portion that looks the shiniest is my nose, probably around here in my T-zone, but we look pretty good. And we're about to apply this powder at the 10 hour mark to see what's gonna go down on the entire face, the entire face. Let me see if I can put some more on my nose. And there she is. Honestly, that worked on my nose. My nose still looks a bit shiny, but nothing compared to how it looked like before. Huh, that's pretty interesting. Maybe you could apply this after like a full day of wearing a mask. And it'll just like re-mattify you and fill in those places where foundation was removed because I think my nose looks exponentially better after using the spray. I don't think it really dried me out. I think it definitely did help with the shininess huh I don't know I really don't know how I feel about this product however I do feel like you could possibly throw this in your purse and 
apply it throughout the day if it's a little bit too hot if you're a little bit too shiny so i do see myself using this for that throughout the summer mainly because that's when i get the shiniest but it's not a bad product i don't know how frequently i would use this in my everyday routine but i definitely would have this as a purse on the go kind of makeup situation because that helped my foundation on my nose look 10 times better than it had four minutes ago but yeah let me know what you've noticed on my face with this freshly applied throughout the day and applied again at the 10 hour mark because i am genuinely impressed it doesn't feel too drying i am a dry skin girl so that is pretty awesome for this powder spray to not feel too dry. I don't know. I don't regret this purchase. I'm actually very happy that I got to try it out. And I'm actually happy that I kind of like it. So that is all I have for y'all today. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you soon.